the trick here is that we manage to recover information in shadows without actually changing the look that we created. Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Long Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at a very important overlooked effect in uh, the curves panel. Let's take a look. First, let's take a look at this scenario. You have a contrasty image. You added contrast, whether it's through regular contrast control or through curves. However, you lost information in shadows. How can you recover information in shadows after you reach the contrast image? Remember, we're not discussing the shadows controller in the wheels panel. This effect is very aggressive, and for the most part, it actually reaches the midtones. It, it doesn't look very natural. So what's the solution? In the curves panel, you have this small section. It's a soft clip section. We're interested in these two controllers at the bottom. So the low soft and the high soft. Now let's take a look at an example. Take a look at this image while I control the curves. So I'll try to make this image very contrasty. So I'll bring this part of the curve to the right and bring this way, this part to the top in order to create a contrasty image and great. This is a very contrasty image. However, we lost information here, here and here and we have actually some overexposed, not very natural looking parts here. Let's start by recovering the shadows. Note what will happen to this part, this part and this part while I use the low soft controller. I'll bring it to the right and notice that we're recovering information in shadows. So take a look at this part before adjusting the low soft. And now after adjusting it, take a look at how we recovered information in shadows. The trick here is that we managed to recover information in shadows without actually changing the look that we created because with other effects, if you want to recover shadows after you make the image very contrasty, you will always lose the look that you created. You, the image will look a bit more flat. However, using this technique, uh, you can just recover the shadows without fearing of the image looking different than what you created. The image still looks as contrasty as before. So again, take a look at the image before and after, before, after, before, after. Now let's take a look at this part. Again, I will use the high soft controller and notice that I'm recovering a lot of the information here. It might not be very clear now, so let's actually try to overexpose the image a bit more and reset the high soft controller. And now let's bring it to the right a bit and notice how we're recovering information. So before, after, before, after. This will allow you to create really contrasty images and at the same time, retain information in highlights and shadows. And this will even work with the normal contrast effect, you know, without using curves at all. So now let's take a look at this image. I will use the normal contrast controller here in order to make it more contrasty. So I'll increase contrast, maybe change the pivot a bit and great. Now I will add a new node here by hitting option and S. And now in the new node, I will be controlling the low soft controller and curves and pulling it all the way to the right. And notice how much information we recovered here. Again, before, after, before, after. Just try to recover highlights or shadows using any other method and you'll discover that you'll always end up losing contrast. So I hope you like this. If you like it, please visit us at filmsimplified.com where you can join our free DaVinci Resolve crash course that will take you through every tab in Resolve and it's absolutely free. So uh, you can learn editing, uh, compositing with Fusion, audio with Fairlight, uh, color grading, all in one free course. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com